depression. It's something that a lot of people go through. According to the World Health Organization, about 350 million people of all ages worldwide go through depression. It is the most common mental disorder and the leading cause of disability. And unfortunately, it continues to rise each year. I myself have gone through depression. I remember throughout my entire school in life, I was called in a lot. It was a struggle to make it through the day without being teased about something. When I was being called fat, and slow, dumb, anything. Everything was turned against me as if I had done something wrong. And no girl was ever interested in me. All of this had gotten to me. I just wanted to fit in. I didn't want to be an outcast. I wanted to be like everybody else. By the time I reached year 10, all of this had caused me to go into severe depression. Now, although I had suffered with depression most of my life, this was the tipping point to which I began to have thoughts about suicide. Over a period of about six years, I had attempted to kill myself four times. And now, years later, it took a lot of time and a lot of learning, but I finally pushed through. I got to a point where I can manage my depression really well. I came to a realisation about something. I realised that the reason I'm an outcast, the reason that I'm so different, is because I'm meant to bring something to this world and to those around me. Something that either other people don't have or other people have struggled achieving. I was more open-minded than most people. And being different shows a higher form of understanding of yourself and others that most people fail to understand. Being different is a unique thing. And when you fully accept that you are different and embrace it, and are no longer afraid of being judged by those around you, you can finally reach a realisation point that goes far beyond of those around you. When you reach this realisation point, you can finally see of how much a good thing being different really is. Well, I've had depression probably four or five years. Um, I guess you could say of course, high school isn't fun, but I reckon it probably was when I got out. Um, just being out of school is hard, and um, I don't know, just didn't really enjoy it, and I just started to struggle. Um, and yeah, it got pretty bad, you know, like I was, did some bad stuff, and um, certainly not proud of some stuff I've done, but um, that's the thing. It's something that a lot of people go through and it's something that's made me into the person that I am now. Um, and I guess for me, coping with it, well, for starters, I don't think you ever get rid of it. I think it's something that if you have it, you just it's about managing it the best you can. And I guess uh, how I manage it, well, for starters, you know, you have to, well, you know, I, I got help, um, talk to people, I guess, admit that I'm not doing that well, and that's fine, um, and then, you know, for me, it, it took, I had to get to the point where I really didn't like where I was and it sucked that much that I wanted to actually do something about it and when I got to that point I was like I don't like it and then I started to fight and when you start to fight um you know yeah that's that's for me it's I just you know had to start to fight against it and um you know everyone copes differently but I guess for me I try to you know, not worry about the past. I try to just worry about every day and take it a day at a time. And also learn from everything that's happened. Um, and if you fight, um, you can get through it and you will 
start to feel better and um, probably only just now, to be, to be real, only just now I'm starting to feel as if um, I'm in a heaps better place than what I used to be. Just because all those things that have happened, even though they're such, really made me into person I am now and you know, you pick up little things that work for you, you know, like for me it's stuff like um, trying to keep busy, you know, trying to be grateful for stuff I have. Well, every day, you know, you have your ups and your downs, even when you are, I guess, doing well, or coping, I guess you could say, but it's, I, there is really no secret, but for me, it's just, I do the things that work for me. Um, hanging out with friends, um, you know, you, you just, you learn as well, you learn things that you need to do to, you know, cope. Like when I get down, I make myself, um, you know, appreciate the things that I do have rather than looking at the things that I don't have and by doing that, I feel good about that and that's that's just one thing um, I play indoor that helps me a lot because it's something I enjoy so no matter how crappy of a week I have if I have a crappy week go to indoor it's my place where I fit in my place where I, I can I guess thrive so yeah having that hobby helps me um, I honestly just think that I, I don't let it win. I actually, this sounds weird, but I literally think of my depression as the dark side of me and every day I go three rounds with that person and I either win or I lose and now I'm, I win most of the time. Um, so. I guess you could say, for me, I think what helps me cope, it just comes down to, I have, I fight, I have that spirit, not physically fighting, but that spirit of just, of the fighter, you know, of the warrior, that I'm going to win, I'm going to be the best person I can be, and I think I finally let go of the past as well, which is probably the thing that I think ultimately held me back, was that I was so stuck in the past and not trying to do these little things that can make now better, and I wasn't doing that, and now I am, and I'm sort of building myself back up again to a place where I'm kind of proud of myself. Um, so yeah, that's, there is no secret, but that, that's, you know, that's some of the things I do, and yeah, everyone, everyone can do it. For those who are going through depression, no matter what it is, whether it's financial difficulties, relationship breakdowns, friendship roadblocks, just know that it's okay to not be okay. No matter what it is, no matter what gets in your way, don't ever give up. I have faith in you, and I know that no matter what it is, it is always possible to get past. This world needs more people with open minds and better understanding. It needs more people like you. So don't ever be afraid of being different, because it's more of a gift than you might realise. Much love. As you've seen in this video, depression is an urgent matter that seriously needs to be addressed in all its forms. If you'd like to find out more information about suicide, please visit any of the following websites. If you think you know someone who might be suicidal, please call your nearest emergency service. If you yourself would like to have a talk with somebody, please call any of the following hotlines associated in your area.
Hello everyone, my name is PB. I would just like to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got a lot out of it. Uh, feel free to share it with your friends and help spread these messages across the world and into people's hearts so that we can help make this world a better place. If you would like to see some more of my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out my Facebook page. Thank you. Much love.